Maternity clothes give me the ick. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so let's get into it. In case you didn't know, now you know. This is my second pregnancy and full transparency guys, I hate maternity clothes, okay? They are not my best friend, they are my worst enemy and I stared clear of them throughout my first pregnancy. But then I decided to wear tracksuit bottoms and trainers and that wasn't really my aesthetic. I'm kind of building my wardrobe back up. I've looked at all of my postpartum wear and I know I can't fit into any of it. I had to be real with myself and realize, you know what? Some of the stuff that I already have in my wardrobe is not gonna fit me. I can't recreate the looks that I used to. So I went on Pinterest and I had a deep dive into some maternity looks and I pulled some that are quite inspirational to me and kind of align well with my aesthetic, which I'll share with you on the screen. So this year I thought, you know what, I'd lean more into maternity clothes or find something that I could wear postpartum that would kind of work for my body type. Some clothes that would grow with me as I was growing my bump. I recently took a trip to H&M and I purchased some maternity clothes for my wardrobe. These are a great purchase that I'm happy with. I thought I'd share these with you. They literally just sit on top of the bump. And what I like about these ones is these are actually quite thick. They're not as stretchy, but they're more like a tight trouser, which is something that I need, especially if I'm going somewhere, I don't know, to the movies or if I'm going on a date night and I want something a little bit thick, especially for this fall season. I wanna feel warm, I wanna feel comfortable, but I want something a little bit more formal. These are perfect. And in terms of price, these are $24.99. I'll definitely be purchasing more of these as my bump grows, because at the moment, I believe I bought a size medium, so I'll probably need a size large in a month or so, and then possibly an extra large. I've also been thinking about textured knits. This, for example, this is from The Source Unknown, and luckily this is oversized as well, so this fits like a dream. It's not a maternity piece, but it's definitely something that I can incorporate into my postpartum wardrobe, which I'm really excited about. I've purchased this colour in grey, but I've also purchased it in beige. I believe it's called Birch, if you go on the website. I will link everything down below just so you can get an idea of what I'm talking about, and also I'll put the images on the screen for you. Trousers with elasticated waist are definitely ideal for anyone who's going through a pregnancy. Your bump is going to grow and you want the fabric to grow with you, but you still want to remain comfortable. So I definitely would recommend purchasing a pair of please say trousers with an elasticated waist. They pair well with so many things in my wardrobes. So I've stuck to a black pair and a neutral pair. When you wake up in the morning, you're pregnant, you're tired, you're hot. The last thing you want to do is think about what you have to wear. You just want to pull something from your wardrobe that you know is going to go well with something else that you already own. So I would definitely recommend these trousers. One of the main things that I wanted to purchase was some dresses. I have had my eye on these dresses from Amazon. These Skims dupes have gone really viral. Um, I actually discovered this brand on TikTok. I bought one in grey and I bought one in like a beige kind of taupe colour and I have to share them with you guys because the quality is so good. But the fit, it fits me like a glove and I think it's so flattering as well. It's very stretchy. I purchased it in a size large. So again, this is not a maternity dress, but this is definitely something that I can incorporate into my postpartum wardrobe. And it's a very fine rib material and the material is silky smooth, guys. The quality and the texture is there. And as for the price, I believe this came in at 30, 35 pounds. I think shapewear, loungewear, anything that clings to your body but still breathable, that is very comfortable, is perfect whilst you're going through your pregnancy. Also quite flattering as well. And what I love about this dress is it's a versatile silhouette. So you can pretty much style it up and down depending on your setting, where you're going. For me personally, I would love to throw on a blazer with this just to make it a little bit more formal, especially if I'm making a trip into the office or if I'm going out for drinks with the girls. But I would purchase this one in black because I feel like grey is a bit too casual. You definitely need to invest in a good maternity bra. I've tried them all. Throughout my first pregnancy, I went to so many retailers and the only ones that worked for me were the Nike high support sports bras. These are perfect because as your boobs grow, and they will, I mean, trust me, my boobs have been growing by the week, you can adjust them to your size and your comfort level. So you have adjustable straps here, and you can also adjust the fastening at the back here. You have four sets of clasps, which is perfect. The only downside of these for me personally, just a personal thing, is that you can't remove the padding. I'm already busty as it is, the last thing I need is extra padding, but it's not too bad because the padding isn't that pronounced. So it doesn't really affect your outfits, especially if you're wearing something that's quite form fitting. You don't wanna have a bulky bra underneath. So if you don't own a maternity bra, I definitely would recommend getting some. Sports bras might not be for everybody, but I find that these particular sports bras work well for busty women, especially someone like me, who's a 32 double F, I'm probably a 32 double G now, um, but, they're definitely comfortable and I need that high support, especially if you're working out and you do something that's high intensity in terms of your workouts. These sports bras, I definitely would recommend. I wanna talk about blazers. 
These are a staple in anyone's wardrobe. And for me personally, I've been quite fortunate enough that my blazers still fit me. I mean, I can't do them up, but I can wear them open, unbuttoned, and they still look flattering with my paternity outfits. They also add a little bit of, of a feminine smart touch to my look, especially if I'm going into the office or if I'm doing like a movie night with friends or on a date night. And I want to throw on something a bit more tailored and still achieve that put together look. I would definitely reach for a blazer during this period where I'm going through maternity clothes, figuring out what to wear. I still want to look chic and I still want to look quite formal, but also stylish as well. So blazers are definitely number one on my list. Finally, I want to talk to you about sweater dresses. Now, these are easy throw on pieces that can pretty much go with anything. It's a perfect versatile silhouette that you can dress up and down. Whether you're going into the office or you're going out for date night, you can definitely style these depending on your setting. Lately, I've purchased a sweater dress from ASOS. You don't necessarily have to make sure that your sweater dresses are maternity wear inspired. And if there's something that you have your heart on, if there's a particular style that you like, I mean, you can purchase this maybe two sizes up so it flatters your shape as your bump is growing over time. Last but not least, I want to talk to you guys about long coats. Recently, I bought this coat from Stored. It was on sale. Now, the texture is gorgeous and the colour is beautiful. I'm definitely be wearing this coat in addition to my maternity outfits. So I'll probably start with black base and add this on top just to give my outfit a little bit more character, make it stand out a little bit more and add a statement. Another long coat that I've been wearing lately is my wool textured coat from Zara. I actually purchased this from the men's department and I believe this is a size small. Still fits like a dream and it's very flattering to my shape as it's growing and changing. I have a question for you guys. Would you like me to try on these outfits for you and do maybe a maternity wear lookbook? Would you like me to do some more videos on how I'm styling these pieces and actually show you how they look on me physically? Let me know if that's something you're interested in. But thank you again for watching my video and until then, I'll see you in the next one.